It's Friday, September 30th, and welcome to Sarah's Opening Bell. I'll be discussing top market news, stock market game tips, and providing a brief overview of the stock market game topic of the week. And I'll be moving at market speed, so pay attention. But rest assured, the information will be fast, but I'll make it so simple a fourth grader could do it. So let's move. You're likely still early in your stock market game experience, so I won't dive into too much just yet. And let's face it, you just got here. So let's get to know each other a little bit. I'm Sarah Bryant, Brooklyn, New York, born and raised coffee aficionado and vice president of regional programs at the Sigma Foundation, the incredible organization behind the stock market game that has guided more than 22 million students just like you on their path to financial independence. Now, for many students, the stock market game may be your first exposure to money management and financial decision making. But we are confident that as you invest, learn, and practice a variety of academic and life skills, it certainly won't be your last. If you're following along with our week ahead newsletter, we're kicking things off with the Fed. Not those Feds, the other Fed, the Federal Reserve Bank. One of the things I'm going to try my best to do is to keep everything simple. So each week I'm going to break down topics into three to five main points. That's it. Promise. Hold me to it. So the Federal Reserve Bank, here's what you need to know. One, it's the central bank of the United States and arguably the most powerful financial institution in the world. Two, its main function is to keep the economy and financial systems running smoothly. And what does that mean? It means that they are working to protect consumers, ensure the stability of the nation's financial system, and oversee banking activities. But who is they? The Fed actually isn't just one institution. It's actually a network of regional and federal entities. Three, their main goals, keep employment high and maintain stable prices and interest rates. Fun fact and frequently asked question, does the Fed print money? No, the actual printing of paper money is handled by the Treasury Department. So the Fed metaphorically prints money, but it doesn't literally print money. The Treasury does. So did I keep to my promise of three to five statements? I think I did. And if you have more questions, which I'm sure you do, because Google and their wonderful algorithms said you do. So top inquiries about the Fed include whether they set interest rates, control inflation, affect monetary policy, and more. But I've only got three minutes and I'm all out of time. Lucky for you, next Friday, October 7th at 12 p.m. Eastern Time, we're hosting a webinar to answer those questions and more. So tune in at 12 p.m. Eastern with your class. The link to participate can be found in the stock market game calendar. So today may be the first time, but it won't be the last time that we see each other. So tune in each week on Fridays at 930 for Sarah's opening bell. Markets are officially open.